Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea and today I have a very fun video for us today because I will be ranking all four of the Natasha Denona Face Glow Cheek Palettes. Yes, I am challenging myself to rank them and, and we're gonna take it a step further. Not only am I gonna rank each palette, but I'm also gonna rank the shades within each palette. Yes. Let's make this video fun. So I have all four of them here. I cannot wait to get into this video, but before I get into any of that, I gotta tell you guys, thank you. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend some time with me. If this is your first time here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel and join the Glam Girl Squad. And if you are a returning subscriber, well, thank you so much for deciding to come back and support my channel with all of your likes and comments. It really does mean a lot to me. So let's get into this video. I want you guys to do two things for me. I want you to leave a comment telling me how you think I'm gonna rank these, okay? Then I want you to tell me how you would rank it, all right? You can do this all in one comment because I really wanna know how you guys rank them and then how you thought I would rank them. Okay, starting off, Number four, we have the Natasha Denona, the Bronze Glow Cheek Palette. So this is her newest one. And if you haven't seen it, I have done a review on all of these palettes. So I will make sure to link them up in the cards and down below for you all. That way you can get a more detailed review. I don't want to make this too long. Um, and then you can also see the products on my face. But I will just preface this by saying, I, all four of these palettes work on my skin. I can use every shade within each one of these palettes on my skin and it does show. So I did want to put that out there. Also, I love all four of them. So by this one coming in at number four, it is not because I don't love it. It's not because I don't like it. It's just, if I have to compare it to the other ones, this one's coming in at number four. Now, the reason why is because this new bounce formula, although it's unique and although it's different, it makes these two shades extremely subtle on the cheek. So if I'm going for, you know, a cute little no makeup makeup look, these two shades are perfect for that. We got a, a really beautiful highlighter here, really beautiful highlighter here. So I can definitely use the face palette. I like it, but I like my cheeks to pop. You guys know I like a glow and I love, and I love blush. So for me, I wish these two shades would have been more pigmented. In terms of ranking them, this would be my least favorite. So this is going to come in at number four, number three, number two, and this bronze shade right here. Oh my gosh. She is something so, so cute. So I enjoy this palette. I definitely use it. I mean, you can see that I've definitely been using it a little bit, but it's not going to be the first one that I'm going to reach for. If I'm like, okay, I've got to pick one of these cheap palettes, which, I, which one will I go for? It won't be this one right off the back, but I will pick her and I will use her. So I still recommend this palette. I think it's beautiful. I just think those cream shades are just not as pigmented as I would like for them to be, especially based on the other three. Coming in at number three is going to be the Tan Bronze and Glow Palette. And you guys, I love this palette. When I first purchased this palette, I was a little disappointed because I wanted to use this shade as a blush. And I was so like, mesmerized by the bloom blush and glow palette because that was the one that came out first and when i realized i couldn't use, use this as a blush i was disappointed but then the way that this palette works beautifully for me is i use this one as a bronzer and love it in this palette the shade that i use the least is this cream shade it's beautiful but it just looks more like a glow on my skin it doesn't look like much of anything so it's just a cream highlight i think it's beautiful but i really don't reach for it whenever i use this palette i usually just use these three shades rarely do i use this one in terms of what what i would rank next so this is number four this is going to be number three, number two, and then the bronzer is number one. I think the bronzer shade is so unique. And if I reach for this palette and only had to use one shade from the palette, I'm going for the bronzer shade. But this, these highlighter shades though are just beautiful. I mean, I love all of the shades in here. And I'll swatch the bronzer shade really quick, um, really, really quick, just so you can see that all on my arm so there's the bronzer shade and these are the other these are the two powder shades and then the cream one i think this palette is stunning and i hate that it's coming in at number three 
but it's not because it's not great. It's just, once again, comparing it to his other counterparts. Okay, so here's where it got really hard for me. And in all pure honesty, I still don't even like how I'm going to do this. But this is, it, it, it was the only thing that I could do because somebody had to get to number two. I don't even want to say this because it just hurts my heart. But number two has to go to, this breaks my heart because I don't want to put her at number two. I really don't. I almost feel like, I should not, but I have to, and I'll tell you guys why. Bloom, Blush, and Glow. I I really want her to be number one, but I can't put her at number one because if you haven't seen the palette, this is her. This is the first one that Natasha came out with. As you can see, she's gotten a lot of love from me. I love this palette. I love it. I love her so much, it's not even funny. Okay, but why is she at number two, Chelsea? Get to the point. I don't like this shade at all absolutely don't like it it's like i don't know y'all i can't even tell it it just that's why it's just kind of weak when i put it on it i mean it looks beautiful on the skin but like it does nothing it just really doesn't wow me so i i don't use it so that's why i'm ranking this palette at number two because of course you guys know what the what the winner will be i will use all four shades in that one so if i had to rank them i'm gonna go with Number three, number four, number three, number two, and this shade right here. Your girl loves her a peachy pinky highlight. And is that not a peachy pinky highlight? <sighs> this highlight makes my heart so happy, it's not even funny. Like if I'm reaching for this palette and I'm only picking one shade, I'm going for this one every time hands down now this one don't get me wrong she's really really cute and this oh this blush and it's so pretty i love the deepness of it like this palette i think is just beautiful if this cream shade could have just actually shown up on my skin a little deeper and a little bit with a bit more of a punch she would have won hands down number one spot so of course by now you know who won. Number one for me is gonna be Love Glow Palette. And the reason why is because every shade in this palette I do wear and I love. And this cream blush is the blush that I wish was in Bloom Palette. If Bloom Blush and Glow had this one, you guys, I would wear it all the time. The way that this looks on my hand, the pigmentation, I've worn this cream blush alone and just felt like my cheeks were just like, hello, how are you doing? How's your day going? I mean, just scrumptious on the cheeks. This also, this shade right here, I think is just stunning. Ooh, like look at the vibrancy. It's just like a beautiful pink highlight, but it really blends into the skin, looks beautiful against the skin. Doesn't look stark, it's not glittery. None of these highlighters are glittery except for this one. Now this is not a shade, this glittery one, is not one that I use all the time. So what I usually do is I'll lay down one of like this highlighter or this highlighter, and then I'll add this glitter shade on top and it's, it just gives, oh, the reflect and the light that bounces off of it is just beautiful. Now, I know this glitter formula is not a favorite of everyone's. I, I've actually seen some people say like it was not their favorite. They wouldn't wear it. And so I get it. I understand why that particular shade would not be a favorite for everyone. But for me, it kind of reminds me of the Fenty Beauty Balm highlighters. It's that fine glitter, but when you feel it, it doesn't feel glittery or crunchy. So what I like to do is I take my ring finger and I will just take just a little bit onto my finger and I'll just dab it on like that. And it, you know, I'm, I normally wear this when I want more of like a blinging highlight, special occasions, things like that. So I do agree this is not necessarily going to be everyone's everyday highlighter of choice. But just adding that here, it just takes 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 the highlight to just a different level. Compared to this side without the highlight, to this side, it just, you know, takes her up a notch. And it's just beautiful. So if I had to rank all four of the shades coming in at number four, I would go with this one simply because I'm not going to wear this one every day. Three, two, one. That's how I'd rank it. And you guys, 
That is Natasha Denona. That is my ranking. We've got Love in the first place. Bloom Blush and Glow is number two. Tan Bronze and Glow as number three. And then Bronze Cheek Palette as number four. Like I said in the beginning, I truly love each and every one of them. I recommend each one. I think there's a place for each one of them in your collection in terms of not everybody doesn't need all four, but I feel like everyone can find a palette that would work for them. Now, what I am waiting for is for Natasha to come out with like an orangey peach one. I would be sad. Your girl would be just I love me an orange blush. Can you not, can you not tell me an orangey peach face glow palette like this would not be the bomb? Oh, maybe that's on the, maybe that's already on the horizons for next summer. I don't know, but I'm ready for it. And I, like I've always said this before, I will buy all of these because I think they're, they're just amazing. I love traveling with these. Um, especially like last year when this one came out, I traveled with this all the time because it had everything that I needed. And I felt like, this especially this palette i think the diversity of the bloom blush and glow palette and the love palette um, is pretty extensive in terms of cheek looks that you can get i think with these two you're pretty much going to come out with a bronzy type of look there's not as much diversity obviously there's not a true blush shade in either one of these um but i still like if i'm going well, we're not going anywhere now. <laughs> but you know, if I were going out of town and I'm like, okay, I wanna, you know, pack a little bit more concisely, I need a bronzer and I need some blush, I need some highlight, like I could take two of these. Or I could take two of these. Or if I just really wanted to be bronzy and then just take an individual blush, I could take two of these. So there's a place for all four of these in my collection. I love them all. I recommend them all. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, definitely leave a comment down below letting me know how you think I ranked these before you found out. And then let me know how you ranked them because I'd love to know what you guys think. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.